And this is, I think, one of the interesting shifts that you need to make when you think of things in terms of an agile context as opposed to the traditional one. In the traditional context, what do we do at the beginning of a project? Well, we want to make all the important decisions because we have to get all those decisions right early on. But in an agile context, you want to kind of do almost the reverse of this. You want to say to yourself, how can we stop things becoming architectural? How can we make things, by, and what I mean by that, how do we make what seems like an irreversible thing reversible? So one great example of this was, again, an, an early ThoughtWorks project. We were one of the early projects that was trying to use an agile approach with traditional relational databases. And a lot of database people said to us, well, yeah, you can do all this agile stuff on the code, but the database schema has to be defined at the beginning because it's a right pain in the neck to change. So you've got to fix that. You've got to go through and get a full data model. I remember being in sessions where people were trying to come up with these data models. Um, but fortunately, we were saved by one of our colleagues, Promote Sadalji, who questioned that whole approach and said, well, you say the database is hard to change. Well, let's, let's work on that. Let's try and figure out how to make it easy to change. And he came up with a scheme that said, well, the database gets modified by a series of migrations, where each migration is very small. It might be splitting a single field in, into two separate columns or something of that kind, or moving a column from over here to over there. And every change not just changes the schema, but migrates any data within that. So you have the necessary um, DDL to migrate the data. And then that way, you can change the schema steadily all the time. And you might have a database out there in production, but you can still change it to a new version by running the migrations. And if you've used tools like uh, Liquibase or Rails migrations or things like that, you're familiar with how this scheme works now. And in fact, this is how we work on pretty much all our projects, right? Yeah, we're still doing it, good. Um, but that was because of the fact that Promode said, well, let's take something that seemed to be irreversible and make it reversible. And what does that do? It means that the database schema is no longer an architectural concern. Right? It's no longer hard to change. You actually, the best architects remove architecture by figuring out how to make things shiftable.